Hello, stamping friends. This is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. Thank you so much for joining me this today. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I would love to be your demonstrator if you do not already have one. Today, we are doing a live class featuring the Simply Citrus inclusive, all-inclusive card kit. This is a really awesome card kit. I don't even have all the pieces here because I've been using them, but I want to show you that uh, if you don't know what an all-inclusive card kit is, Stampin' Up! has some really fantastic all-inclusive kits, which are perfect for new stampers, but also perfect for any stamper that's on the go because it includes everything that you need in the kit to make all of the projects. It's kind of like our paper pumpkin that we have every month, but this, you actually know what you're gonna get ahead of time. So in this particular kit, it's called Simply Citrus, and you get five different designs of cards, three each. So you're gonna have 15 cards, all the parts and pieces that you need. You also are gonna get a little ink spot in Night of Navy. You're gonna get a stamp set, which I already have uh, all the stamps off of this piece, but you can get an idea of the, the different images that come up with the stamp set. Plus you get a block, so if you don't already have one, then you have one and you're ready to go. So that's why it's really great for new stampers. And you get all the parts and pieces, which uh, we're gonna be using those, so that's not in the box right now, but you also get envelopes to go with those, and there's two different styles. Really, really cute. You get some Calypso Coral Baker's Twine to use on your projects. And then also these cute little flowers that they're kind of like, they kind of look like vellum, but I think they're more of a, um, like a glacine. They're kind of, they're harder than vellum. They're a little sturdier, a little thicker, um, but they're super, super cute. They're almost like a, a little lightweight plastic embellishment, but they're all, you can alter those with um, Stampin' Blends, and we're gonna do that on a couple of the cards that we're doing today. So you get a whole little packet of that, Plus, you even get glue dots, so you don't even really need to have adhesive on your own. You could just use the glue dots that come with it, and you get dimensionals. If you want, I, I use seal just because it's easier um, than glue dots, but if you were a new stamper, you'd have, have everything that you need, so it'd be ready to go. So here's, um, you can find this information on page seven of the annual catalog, or you can go to twocoolstamping.com and click on the Shop Now link, and you can find it at the online store. So for the whole card kit, here's a picture here of all the different contents. You get a bunch of card bases, you'll see those in a minute, and you get a bunch of pre-cut, uh, pre-printed die cuts, and, um, and little labels that you can stamp the sentiments on. So, and it all comes in a really nice box. So that's nice too, a little storage box. It could be a great gift. So I love that. And it's just $32 to make 15 cards, which is a really great price, great value. Plus you're gonna have this uh, stamp set that you can use on cards in the future too. And a little ink spot and a little block that you can use for that too. So it's really, really awesome for beginners. I also like it for, um, for stampers who, um, you know, more avid stampers, they can do, use it as kind of a really quick card on the go. Um, and they can step it up, and that's kind of what we're going to do today. So today for our class, we're actually going to, I'm going to show you how you can use this kit to double the amount of cards in the kit. And I, I'm telling you what, I'm going to try to fix this. My camera will not stop moving down. And I have tried for 15 minutes before this video to make this stop doing this and it will not stop doing it. I, I don't think I could tighten this thing any tighter. I'm so sorry. This has been happening and I can't figure out another way to make it not continue to move down. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna take this card kit and I instead of making them according to the cards, which I was gonna show you on the uh, instructions that come with it, you can see there's actually really nice uh, 
full color picture. It has some instructions that go with it so you know exactly how to assemble these cards. So we're not gonna make them like this. We're gonna just alter them just a bit so that we can double the quantity with by just adding just a few extra card bases and a few extra die cuts and pieces. So I'll show you how to do that. Also, I wanted to let you know that we'll ha we will have a class offer with this class. Uh, it's a two-part offer. We've done it very similar in the past. If you want to purchase the Simply Citrus card kit, that's just $32. That's going to be the minimum order for this offer, and you'll get a tutorial for all of the cards that I'm going to show you today. And then if you want an add-on kit, which means all of the additional card bases and die cut pieces and things that I'm using along with some additional envelopes so that you'll have enough to make 30 cards rather than just 15. Um, you can get that add-on kit for free when you place a $100 order and you need to use that host code, don't forget. Uh, use the host code R9EDDJYK on uh, any of your orders that's going to show me that you want this particular offer because sometimes I have two going on. Um, I will have the PDFs and tutorial available just outright um, on, my comp on my blog later today. So you can visit twocoolstamping.com. If you're a demonstrator and you, you know, not, don't necessarily want to place an order with me, you'll, you can purchase those directly from me. So I'll have that later today. Um, Seems like there was one other thing I wanted to say. Yes, of course. Make sure that if you are gonna be ordering $150 worth of product, do not use the host code. That's the only time I would ask you not to use it because that way you can take advantage of stamp and rewards. And I definitely want you to be able to do that. So if you hit that $150 mark, that's when you're gonna earn stamp and rewards. Don't use the host code. I'm gonna automatically send you the, uh, the add-on class kit and tutorial, so don't worry about that. All right, let's get started with our cards today. You guys are really gonna love these. Okay, so the very first card that we're gonna do, and I'll show you kind of the whole plan that we're gonna do. So here's a card base that I've taken from the kit, and I've actually cut off a piece of it at the two inch mark. So two, this is two inches wide. I've also just trimmed off just like a sixteenth of an inch off of the edge. Let me just measure and see. Yeah, about an eighth of an inch. So about an eighth of an inch off of the edge. So we're gonna use this on a different card and we're gonna make this into a card uh, just by altering it a little bit. So we're gonna start out by doing some stamping and I have a piece here of Knight of Navy and I have, um, it's two and a half by five and a half. We're gonna start by stamping with Knight of Navy with the little leaf image. And we're just gonna randomly stamp all over this image in Knight of Navy ink. So I'm just turning it and stamping. And I, I like to start at a diagonal in the middle and work my way out. That way I don't have any weird blank spaces that I want, that I can't stamp. So once we get that entire piece covered, I'm gonna move everything up again. We're gonna see how far it's gonna scooch down. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna become our card front. So I'm gonna use some snail or some seal, some seal adhesive. And I'm gonna put it right on the edge. This is a brand new one. Right on the edge here. And I'll line up this edge flush. And then just close that. And that will be my card front. Next, I'm going to add the little pieces that actually come with the kit. So we have a little, this is a die cut that comes with the kit. This is a label that comes with the kit and I've already pre-stamped that on there just to save some time today. 
because we have a lot of cards to get through. I'm actually gonna show you 10 different cards and then those will be, there'll be three each of those in your card kit. So I'm just gonna add that. I'm gonna pop this up with some dimensionals. So again, these are pieces that are already in the kit. Add that right over the top. I have a little piece of the Baker's Twine here and I've tied it in a bow. I did a double bow. I'm just gonna add that to my glue dot and put that right over here. And then I think I'll add just a few flowers. These flowers are so cute. They just add a little bit of texture, a little dimension. So put that right on a glue dot and we'll add three of those. So this is just, it's very similar to the card that is in the kit. We've just modified it just a bit so that, where is the card? This. So this is the card that's in the kit and we've just modified it just a bit so that we can use that pattern on a different card. So let's see what, what do we do with that pattern? Let's make a different card out of it. So I've already pre-scored this piece of Just Jade. I've scored in two and an eighth inch on both sides to make a, a gatefold card. So I always make sure that I put those flush together before I burnish the creases with my bone folder. So hold those flush, then crease those. That way you have a nice, um, it meets nicely in the middle. Next, we're gonna add that pattern paper that we had just cut off. So we'll add that with seal. And we'll put that on one side here. And then the other side is going to be, um, this is a two by, um, I think it's, let's see, by five and three eighths. And I, I can't remember the name of this embossing folder off the top of my head, but it's really cute. It's little diamond shaped or diamond um, patterns of dots. And I thought it kind of went really well with this paper. You'll have to look in the description. I can't remember the name of it for the life of me. All right, so we're gonna add that pattern on this side. So that brings some nice texture there. And then we're gonna have a little piece here that we're gonna stamp over and it's gonna kind of overlap both sides. So for that, we're going to stamp the sentiment first in Night of Navy Pretty much everything, all the sentiments for this class are all gonna be in Knight of Navy. So we'll add that sentiment. Then we're gonna add some lemons. And we're gonna add some leaves as well. what I did. Oops. That's how you know you're getting creative when you start getting ink all over yourself. I got some over here. <laughs> I keep putting my hand right in it. Okay. So, so this is the kind of fun stuff that you can do with that stamp set after you make all of your cards in your kit, or you can get the add-on kit and you can do them just like I am doing these. Okay. So I'm going to color these in with my light mango melody. And we're just gonna do a really quick job of it. We could do a lot of shading if we wanted to, make this look really realistic. But I'm just gonna do it really quick. I'm gonna take the dark 
and just do just a little bit of shading. And you could use the fine tip end to kind of blend those in a little better. I'm not gonna take the time to do that because I don't wanna take a lot of time, but you get the idea. So this, is, this one's blended a little bit better than this one, for example. And then I'm gonna use um, Just Jade and Mint Macaron look really, they're, Mint, Mint Macaron is kind of a lighter version of Just Jade. So I'm using the Dark Mint Macaron for the leaves here. I think it really goes well with that Just Jade. So this just gives it just a little hint of color and also matches the Just Jade really nicely. I'm gonna take this and layer it on a piece of Knight of Navy. I'll have all the measurements in my description later today on both my Facebook post as well as my YouTube video. Okay, so I just layered it on some Knight of Navy, and now I'm gonna pop that up over the top with some dimensionals. Now to make sure that I don't have any dimensionals on this side, I'm just gonna do a 180 flip here, and that way I know how far to put those dimensionals. Okay, so this just makes a cute little gatefold. And then you can add a little double bow here, again, just like we did on this card, and that will complete that card. So there are the two cool versions of that pattern. And again, don't forget you make three each of these cards because there's 15 card bases, three each of each style of card. So we're gonna make six total cards with this sheet. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay, let's move on quickly to the next pair. So the next pair starts with this pretty Just Jade polka dot. And I've already trimmed off a piece that is one inch. So we're gonna make two cards out of these two pieces. So the first card, I'm going to actually, I'm gonna start with that little strip. I have a garden green piece right here. And I'm gonna adhere that little strip right across the bottom. This is the quick version, the quick card. that right across the bottom. And then this piece actually comes with our kit. Now the one thing that I did was um, the pre-printed piece didn't have any of the Knight of Navy outlines. So I actually took all of my, um, like my leaves and I inked those up in Knight of Navy and stamped over. So kind of a two-step stamp look. So all of that I've already done ahead of time. I was having a lot of fun. I was gonna put the cards together like regular and then I decided to go in a different direction. So I'm sorry I don't have those to show you, but I did the same thing with the, the slices as well. There's a, um, there's a, an image for that. So I just inked that up in Knight of Navy and just stamped over all of the different slices. So that's already done for you for that. Well, I'm not gonna do it for you. You're gonna have to do that on your own when you get the kit. But I've already done it for this video. So I'm gonna add this here with some seal. And then this is one of the pre-printed pieces. I've already tied some of the baker's twine around it. And I'm gonna add that to my card. So I just want this to kind of go maybe right here and then I've already stamped just a note on the pre-printed Whisper White piece that comes with the kit. 
I put some dimensionals on the back and then we'll add that to our card. So this one comes together really quickly because it's a lot of the pieces directly from the kit. Now we're gonna use one of those flowers, but I wanted to add a pop of yellow. So I'm gonna take my Mango Melody and I'm just gonna color right on there really gently with the brush tip end to make that a little yellow flower. And we'll add that with a glue dot. Ta-da! Isn't that so cute? You can make that any color. I love that, I love those little flowers. So here's our first card. And then next we're gonna finish up this piece. So this piece, I'm gonna start with, oh, I didn't bring one of my pieces over. Oh, well shoot, okay. We're gonna get most of the card together and then <laughs> I'll show you the finished card because I forgot to bring a piece. Okay. So we're gonna start by stamping the sentiment on this piece of uh, layering circles. And we'll do that again with Knight of Navy. I hate when I forget pieces. All right, we're gonna do this right here. Then we're gonna stamp the lemon. And this we are gonna need to clean off. So I'm get, gonna get my Simply Chamois out. Do a little squish, squish, squish. We're gonna stamp it in Mango Melody on Mango Melody. And we're gonna make two lemons on there. And then the same thing with our leaves. We're gonna need to get that cleaned up. Let's get some more of that ink off, there we go. And we're gonna stamp that in Just Jade onto Just Jade. Just some scrap. So we have these pieces here. And then you're gonna cut those out by hand. Fussy cut a little bit until you have your little lemons and your little leaves ready to go. So we're gonna make a little accent with that. All right, first let's layer that circle. We're gonna layer it on a Knight of Navy scallop circle from that same layering circles dies. Layer that right on there. And then let's just add a couple of these with some dimensionals. Actually, let's just do snail. I don't want it to pop up that much. So we'll put a lemon over here. And a little lemon right here. Stick those leaves in there, just kind of tuck them under. Oops. And put one up here too. All right, so cute. All right, so our this time our card's gonna be horizontal. And I had meant to have a little piece, it was probably this piece at one time, <laughs> that would go underneath here. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Um, but this is gonna be our sentiment. I'm gonna use some ornate garden Calypso Coral Ribbon and tie that around my card base. So just imagine the bottom has Just Jade cardstock on it. All right, we'll trim, trim that off. Scooch that over here. So that'll be ready to go when I finally finish that card up. But let me show you what it's supposed to look like. So here's what it's supposed to look like with that little piece of cardstock. You're gonna add that just like you did to the other, the first card. Just put a little strip of snail on there. That's gonna hold that in place and then finish it off with that sentiment. So those are the two cool cards for the Just Jade polka dot paper. All right, we have three more styles to show you. Next, clean up some of my mess here. The next one is 
is going to start with the polka dot calypso coral and I've already trimmed off a piece here I believe it's one and a half yes one and a half so each one of these strips I've trimmed off is a little bit different size wise but then we we do different things with it so this is our let me burnish that so it lays down nicely so for this one we're going to actually just make it kind of overlay instead of having it this piece as a part of that front card cover we're going to put this on the back so this is a piece of mango melody it's one and three quarter inches by five and a half and i'm just going to add that to the inside of my card for a nice contrasting edge And then we'll decorate it a little bit with some of our pre uh, our pre printed pieces that come with it. So again, this is another pre printed piece I've stamped on the Knight of Navy outline of the lemon as well as the leaves. So everything else was pre printed in the. Whoops, that's not how I want to do it. Oh man, I screwed up. I keep screwing up again. Okay, so this actually, I want to pop this up. I don't want to have adhesive on here because it's going to close it close it up. So what I'll have to do now is put uh, a second layer on here so that I don't have adhesive on the back so I don't lose that. But let's just look at this because this, so, this is so simple to put on. So this is what it's supposed to do. You're supposed to just have the seal on the one side. So don't make that mistake. So if you're, if you're going through right now and making them with the video, don't make that mistake. So this is your pre-printed that I've stamped on, and then I've also stamped that sentiment on one of the pre-cut labels that come with the kit. This little Knight of Navy strip underneath also is a pre-die cut piece that comes with the kit. And then I've used another one of those flowers that I colored with the Mango Melody Stampin' Blends. And that's all there is to it. So all these pieces actually come with the kit, except for our one piece of cardstock. All right, now, let's work on the other card. This one's a little more intensive because we don't have much to work with. We just have one little strip. So I'm starting with a Calypso Coral card base. Then I'm going to do some stamping with the slice as well as the little stars. So I'm gonna start with Calypso Coral ink, and I'm just gonna just kind of add, whoops, I'm not doing a very good job here. You're gonna do a much better job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of getting those out nice and clean. Okay, and then we're gonna use the little, I don't know if they're stars or they're like little um, flowers maybe, I don't know. So I'm gonna add some of those, just to have some, makes it look a little more festive. Then I'm gonna add this strip right across here. So we kind of have a diagonal pattern going across. So this strip will just go right down the side. And then next I have another piece of another little strip. I'm gonna cut, look at that, I'm covering up all the mistakes. I love it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this piece of four and a quarter by one and a quarter, Melody, Mango Melody. And I would probably normally put it down a little further, but I'm gonna put it up just so I can cover up my mistake. All right, I've already pre-cut, pre-die cut a little piece here um, from the Tasteful Labels dies, I believe that's what that's from, and it's in Night of Navy. And I'm gonna put that right over the top as well. We'll put that about right here. Then I'm gonna stamp, I have another label here that's Whisper White, also from the Tasteful Labels dies. And I'm gonna stamp 
the way to go sentiment on top of that. And we can pop that up with some dimensionals. And add that and then I added some accents by stamping the little citrus uh, slice on three different colors I have granny apple green ink on granny apple green Melo mango melody on mango melody cardstock and then also the calypso coral ink on calypso coral cardstock stamp those and then hand cut those out and then you can just add those with a glue dot we're going to put one down here i'm going to put one over here let's go about right there and then one more up here little slices i'm going to finish I felt like it just needed a little bit of sparkle of some sort so I'm got, I got some of the champagne rhinestones out and I'm just gonna add a little sparkle to the center of each of those slices why not okay that should do it so those are our two cards Two cool cards with the Calypso Coral card front. So again, you're gonna get three each of each of these styles, so six cards. All right, for our fourth card, let me clean up some of my mess here. The fourth card is a Mango Melody card base. And this one I got really fancy and I cut it at the diagonal. So I started at the top and worked down to the corner and just cut this whole piece off. I know, scary, right? Okay, so for this one, again, we're gonna, we have to fill this in with a piece of cardstock. I have some Mango Melody. So I'm gonna add a little bit of snail. Sorry, not snail, I'll get that right seal you know when you've had 16 years of saying snail it's hard to change it's hard to change all right so for this again i'm going to line up the edge to make sure that's nice and flush and then fold that over for our card front and then we'll decorate that we're going to decorate that mainly I added a few extra pieces here. Here's one that is two inches. No, it's one and three quarter inches by four and a half. I'm just gonna add that. Oh, let me, let me do a little banner cut at the bottom. So I'm gonna go just up the center and do the side to center cut and another corner to center cut. Make a little banner, then we'll put it down Put that right down the center. Then we're gonna add, this is a piece that's already pre-cut, pre-printed. Everything is exactly how it comes in the kit on this one, I haven't done anything to it. No stamping on it this time. I'm just gonna add that directly to my banner. Then I've already uh, stamped in Night of Navy with one of the Simply Citrus sentiments onto one of the labels that came with it. I did add my own Night of Navy piece, and this piece is two and three quarter by seven eighths, it looks like. And I put those together. I'm going to add some dimensionals to pop it up. And 
and that one finishes really quickly. Little bow with the twine. Put that right there. And then you can add a few of the flowers. So here's one with all the little flowers on it. So you can just put those on with a little glue dot. So that's very similar. This is the card that you would actually make in the kit. Very similar. We just changed up the background just a little bit so that we could use that diagonal piece on the next card. So the next card, I've started with this um, stitched nested labels, whisper white piece. And I'm going to, I can find my little slice, here we go. My little slice piece, see what I have on it. I have some Calypso Coral on it. So we'll start with Calypso Coral. I'm gonna add a little slice there, maybe one over here. And then we're gonna clean that up a little bit with the chamois, use a couple of different colors here. Have the Mango Melody. And I'm just sticking with all these cards um, with the same color combination that they had in the kit, but you could go into all kinds of different color combinations. There is no stopping you. All right, and then we need to add some leaves. Close up my ink pads, because I just keep putting my hand in them. You guys never do that, right? All right, let's clean up our leaves, and then we're gonna add leaves in just jade. So I'm gonna put, oh, maybe one here. One over here. Another one here. So just randomly all around. And then we'll color those in with our blenders. So this is actually, what am I using here? Let me use light mango melody. Whoops, and I wanna use the brush tip end just because it puts the color down really quickly. So I'm just adding color. Use the side of your brush tip so that you don't hurt your brush tip. If you guys were here for last week's sunflowers, I was running out of ink and I got some new ones. So these are brand spanking new, I love that. Um, for the Calypso Coral ones, I just got the dark petal pink. I didn't wanna go that dark, so I just want a little bit of color. I put petal pink in there. I thought Calypso Coral might be a little too much. And then like the other card that we did, I used the mint macaron instead of just jade, just to make it a little bit lighter. Quick color. Not my best coloring job, but when you're doing it fast, that's what you get. All right. <laughs> so there is our little background. Let's get our card base out. So I have a So Saffron card base this time. We'll add this diagonal piece on here from our kit card base. Oops. And we're gonna add that right along the top. So flush along the top, flush along the side. And we have our little piece that's going here. So I'm gonna add that again with some seal. Then let's add a little sentiment. I have another piece of the Mango Melody here, and I'm gonna stamp Hello Sunshine. This is a bright and cheery card. I thought it would be perfect for that sentiment. So, Hello Sunshine. I 
And again, let's make just a little banner cut here. So center and then corner to center and corner to center. And then we're gonna add that right to the top there. So let's get some dimensionals out for that. Put a few of those on there. And pop that up. Hello, sunshine. And then for some finishing touches for this card, here's the my finished card. And I added some of the baker's twine, just a little bow around that. And that goes all the way around the card base. And then if you can see, I have put a little sparkle, a little of the wink of Stella. So I highly recommend if you wanna go through some of your cards and just add a little bit of that wink of Stella, it just gives it a little bit of shimmer and shine and sparkle. So hopefully you can see some of that really dresses it up. All right. So these are the two Mango Melody cards. And then we have a, one last pair of cards to do for this time. And this time we start with a Garden Green card base. And I took a lot off of this one. So I took two and a half inches off of this one So we'll start out with, I have a piece of mint, uh, mint macaron, and it's four by five and a half, and then I've used the Forever Greenery dies, and then we're gonna add this to the inside here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of seal right across the edge, and then I'm also gonna put a little bit of seal right across the edge of this one. Line them flush up at the outside of the card and then close. So that's how we get our card front. And actually, I don't think that's four. That's, yeah, it is four. It's not four and a quarter. Four and a quarter would be the normal card base. Okay, I'm gonna use my bone folder on that so it lays a little bit flatter. And then next, we're gonna do some additional stamping. I already have uh, stitched rectangles, whisper white die cut prepared there. And then I'm going to stamp the lemon with Mango Melody. And I'm gonna stamp that all the way down the side of my focal point there. And then, just like the previous card, we're gonna put some of the leaves on there with the Just Jade. And I'm just gonna kind of sneak them in here. I'm just creating a little border, basically. Just a fun little fruity border. All right, and then just like the previous card, you would go in with your Mango Melody and uh, just or Mint Macaron and color those in. And we're gonna add a sentiment as well. So we're gonna add the Thanks for Being You. It kind of fits right in there in that little has a little nook there, a little niche for it to fit into. We're gonna layer that onto a piece of Knight of Navy. There we go, sometimes it takes a minute to advance there. So we'll layer that onto our Knight of Navy We're gonna add a little piece of Calypso Coral to the card front. A little block of color, a little pop right across the front here. And this is two inches by three and three quarter. 
Um, I wrapped around, I'm not gonna do it here, I'll show you in a minute, but I wrapped some Baker's twine around here and then we added that to the card front. Let me show you what it looks like when we're done. So I've already colored everything nicely. I've added just that little bit of Baker's twine. I even added a little flower up there. You could make that a color if you wanted to, but that's how we finished off that little garden green card front. Then we have one little piece left here that we need to use up, and I started with a garden green card, card base for that. And this one goes together really quickly because it's mostly the pieces that are in the kit. So we'll put this right across the middle. Then we have a piece here. This was a pre-printed piece. I added the stamping in around the leaves with Knight of Navy. So that was the only thing that I added. Before I do that, actually, I'm gonna add some baker's twine here just wrap this around and tie it in a little knot okay so that goes on the side there then we're going to add this over the top just with some snail sorry seal Seal, seal, seal. All right, and then I finished that off with a little sentiment and another little die cut strip that all come with it. So these two pieces, two die cuts actually come with it. I just stamped on that sentiment and I'm gonna add that right there. Again, you can add a few of those really cute flowers. So this is one that I've already gotten done with the flowers. I also frayed the, the ends of the baker's twine, so that kind of gave it some fun texture there too. All right, so there are the last pair of the Garden Green cards. Okay, let's bring all the cards back that are gonna be in the kit and talk to you one last time about the kit offer. So, we have our Calypso Coral. We have our Hello Sunshine and our Mango Melody. Oh, I wanted to also point out, I have some Wink of Stella on there too. I don't know if you can see that, but Wink of Stella, is gonna dress everything up. All right, we have our Just a Note with our first one that we did, and then and the last ones, here we go. And then here are our last two. There's not enough room in the camera <laughs> to show you everything. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different cards. Normally you would have just the five, but we've doubled everything by just cutting that little strip off of each of the card fronts and creating another card with it. So we've doubled everything. If you would like to have the tutorial for this, it's free if you place a $32 order and magically enough, the Simply Citrus kit actually costs $32. So when you place an order for the card kit, I will send you a tutorial. You don't have to purchase the card kit in order to get the tutorial. You just need a minimum of $32 order and you need to use the host code. So don't forget that as well. To order, you can go to twocoolstamping.com, click on the shop now link, and that'll take you to my online store. If you want the whole add-on kit, so you want to be able to make these cards and you'll have all the different pieces that you need, all you'll need to do um, is stamp everything basically, but you'll have all the different card bases, you'll have all the different layers that are not included in your kit. I will give you the instructions obviously, the tutorial, so you'll know how to cut your cards down, and um, it also tells you how to do your stamping and everything. And you're gonna get 15 additional 
envelopes because in the regular kit, remember, you get these really pretty envelopes and you have enough of these for your original 15 cards from your card kit. But since you're doubling everything, you're gonna need some additional uh, envelopes. So I will add uh, 15 additional, just plain whisper white envelopes that you'll be ready to send your cards in. So that's what comes in it. That's the add-on class kit. You'll get that and the tutorial when you place a $100 order with me using the host code. And remember, if you decide to order just a little bit more and get the $150 level, don't use the host code after $150 because I want you to be able to earn your stamp and rewards and use those yourself. So um, definitely do that. To place an order, go to twocoolstamping.com. This offer is going to be available from today until August 26th, which is a Wednesday. So uh, just a little bit of time you'll have to get that. You can earn it and then I will mail out the kits on the 29th of August. Um, the PDF, I don't have that ready yet because I just finished up this class late last night. So um, I will get the PDF ready. And if you place an order, I'm gonna have that, um, it'll be able to be sent out sometime this weekend. So, um, so look for that in your inbox if you place an order uh, either today or tomorrow. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you guys really enjoyed this kit. I really, really love being able to expand and kind of step up the cards and have a lot of fun with it and show you how you can use your stamps that you're gonna get with the kit on other types of cards. You don't have to just stick with what they give you in the kit. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to stamping with you next week during our live class, typically on Thursdays at 9 a.m. Eastern time is when we do our weekly live class, and I will see you then. Until then, this is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.